Hello, uh, hello, Adam. This is Christian down Chile, uh, down here in Santiago, Chile, doing um, our, my entry to your contest. First of all, congratulations on more than su surpassing your uh, region goal, and then it was uh, reaching uh, over 200 subscribers for the last time I checked your channel, you were way over 260. I'm hoping with this uh, contest you will reach uh, even bigger numbers, like 300 and even 500. Uh, I have seen a couple of uh, cool entries to your, your contest. You, uh, it's all related about the uh, outer space and science fiction, uh, aliens, and all those cool things. Um, so I'm trying to take, I'm going, I'm trying to do my best showing what I have here in my collection. First of all, your first uh, question was to um, show uh, albums uh, or uh, vinyl or, or CDs uh, with um, space uh, or outer space or UFOs and stuff like that, uh, things related. So I'm going to show a couple of things that I have here. And go, uh, first of all, this is a, a Greek band. The name of, I'm going to take them out of the jewel case so you can see uh, much better without, without the glare. The name of the band is Dexter Ward. You can see there is, there is a, a warrior, I think, on the, on the, on the moon and with the seeing the, uh, the earth back there, so really cool. Next of all, uh, I think this is, um, you can say it's almost mandatory. This is uh, Joe Setra, one of the biggest uh, uh, guitar uh, shredders in the uh, 80s and 90s, with uh, surfing with Erlin, a real, a real, really cool uh, artwork. There it goes. Next, what do we have here? Uh, this one is from Pearl Jam. Here we have um, a picture of a supernova, I think. Um, don't, don't quote me on that. I can't, I can't remember uh, uh, exactly what it's all about. And, and also, uh, some other cool uh, pictures of the put here. So, uh, there it goes um, with the pearl jam. Another thing that we have here, let me see. No, there, ah, here. Also, this, this is a kind of twist because the name of the band is UFO. This is uh, one of the biggest albums. This is uh, Lights Out. Another cool stuff. And also, here we have a very cool uh, alien uh, approaching, I don't know where, but uh, uh, there it goes. Really cool. This, the name of the band is Axe and the uh, record is Nemesis, but here we have a cool alien with a, with a guitar axe. Yes. Thing, a bloody guitar axe so it goes very cool stuff well yeah so that's that would be uh, question number one I think uh, question number two is to talk about um, a song with um, with uh, related to the space um, science fiction and uh, UFOs and aliens and all that cool stuff I'm going to first of all I, I thought about uh, this one uh, I, Almost like pretty obvious. It, it's rushed and twenty one twelve. We all know this 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 song. It's about um, a, a people from outer space uh, coming to take control of Earth. That could be one. Another one. Also pretty obvious here in um, the metal community. It's um, Megadeth and uh, Rust in Peace. The name of that one and the song is of course is Hangar eighteen. It's all uh, related uh, with. Um, the things going on in 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 the Arizona area um, with the with the uh, crashing of the of the UFO then being 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 taken by the uh, by the government in Area 54. So there it goes. But I'm going to go with a, a band that you don't usually um, relate and with the space or uh, traveling through through time. And I think they, they have a really cool song that sometimes it's uh, uh, overlooked, overlooked. And the name, uh, and it's Queen, and it's from um, the album uh, A Night at the Opera. And the song is, uh, the song is, uh, here is 39. It's um, on, on side two. 39, and so I'm going to read what it's all about. The song was written by the guitar player, um, guitar player, uh, uh, Brian May, and the song is actually about a group of volunteers who are not soldiers but astronauts. The volunteers leave for a space mi space mission in 39, as always said, not uh, a 
as already said, not uh, not in this, not in the, not not know the century. The ship returns 100 years later on Earth on Earth time. This effect can be traced uh, back to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, and only one year has passed in the spaceship time. While they thought, uh, while they brought good news, maybe from uh, from they found it uh, in habitat more uh, habitable uh, planets, the voyage has a personal tragedy for the for the protagonist. His old friends and relatives have died, and only his daughter, who was baby back then and now mostly like a grandmother herself, is alive. Uh, he himself is nothing but a ghost from the past, and all his uh, life is still ahead. But he feels like a stranger in a strange land. So, so that's really cool. Um, the way um, the song is, is is written, and for a for a classic band, uh, uh, writing a song about uh, space traveling back in this is seventy early seventies. It's really really cool, and you don't and you sometimes you don't relate um, Queen with this kind of topics uh, in in the lyrics. So that's number two, and number three is talk about um, favorite movies or or TV shows uh, related with science fiction and UFOs and all that stuff. As um, my favorite movie has to be uh, hands down uh, Star Wars, the the first three movies. I remember uh, watching seeing the 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 first uh, one, Star Wars uh, uh, chapter uh, four. Uh, in the in the cinema back when it was uh, released and it was an awesome experience that uh, really leave a huge uh, impact in, in me back in the day but I also like um, some modern stuff like um, Alien vs Predator another cool one but I'm going to talk about a very uh, old um, TV TV uh, series that I for I uh, watched back in the um, Back in the late seventies, I think, if, if I'm if I'm uh, correct, that only aired two two seasons in in the states, and the name of the of the TV uh, show was um, the Invaders, and the main uh, character main uh, guy was uh, is a guy named uh, Roy Fiennes. Uh, he's still alive. He's uh, I think he, now he's eighty two years old, and the plot is uh, kind of simple but really cool. This it's an um, it's a science fiction um, television created by Larry Cohen and that aired in ABC for only two seasons uh, from '67 to '68. Uh, Roy Thins stars as David Vincent, who after stumbling across evidence of an in progress alien inv invasion of aliens from outer space, the aliens disguising themselves as human and gra gradually infiltrating human institutions trying to uh, thwart the invasion despite the disbelief of, of officials and, uh, and the general public and the underwhelming of his air force by the aliens. The series uh, was a Queen Martin production. It was it's really cool. If you had the, the chance to see it, it's uh, all, um, from the, uh, since, uh, from the uh, late 60s, but for some reason they were uh, uh, rerun, doing reruns here in, in Chile, I think in the late 70s. So I, I got the chance to see it. It was really cool because the only way um, the, the, um, the main guy in, in the movie, in the, in the series, can um, spot who, who, uh, who the aliens were is because the aliens were almost perfect uh, uh, replicating the human uh, body, but they, for some reason they can't move this finger. So uh, whenever he he met a guy, met a, a guy or or a, or a girl that can move this finger, he realized that's a, that's an alien. So uh, that's why how they describe they discover the aliens and when all the things that go goes on in the movie. I think also they are they are that a series is available on on Amazon to watch it. So maybe you can give it a try and see how things were done in the late sixties. I think it's it's all black and white. If I'm correct, I can recall exactly. So, um, Adam, hope you like my entry. Hope you understand everything I was trying to explain. Uh, this is almost 10 minutes. I think it's more than enough. My name is Christian. Saying goodbye down here in Santiago, Chile. Till next time, and congratulations on your um, 
on your channel and your contest and I hope you get many many more subscribers. See ya.